Hello dear friends, in trick number 198, I am going to start a series of videos on geometry. Now in the first of this kind of videos, I am going to tell you everything about in circle and in center. Now in this figure, you can see a triangle ABC and there is a circle which is touching all the three sides of this triangle ABC at a unique point. See here, the side AB, we have a point of contact P with the circle. The side BC, we have a point of contact Q and side AC has a point of contact R. So this circle, which touches the three sides of a triangle, this is called in circle. Now, what is in center and how we can draw this circle when a given triangle with given measurements has been provided to you? Now, to understand this, first of all, we should know that in a triangle, whenever we draw the angle bisectors say this is angle B now if you draw the angle bisector of this angle now this is the angle bisector of angle B similarly when you draw the angle bisector of angle C this is the angle bisector of angle C the point where the two angle bisectors meet each other this point is called the in center of the triangle. So I have labeled this point as I. This is the point of intersection of the angle bisectors of two angles. And if you draw the angle bisector of the third angle also, then this will automatically intersect the two other angle bisectors at this point I itself. So all the three angle bisectors of angles of a triangle are concurrent, means they pass through the same point. And this point is known as in center. So this point I, we call this point I as in center. This circle is known as in circle. Another property of this in center. Now, whenever you draw a perpendicular from this I to any side of the triangle, say I am drawing this perpendicular now. Now, this is a perpendicular drawn from I on BC. I will call this point as D. So, this perpendicular distance is same whether I draw the perpendicular on BC or on AB or on AC. So all the three perpendiculars IE and IF. So ID, IE, IF. All the three perpendiculars are actually equal. So we can draw a circle with I as center and any of these three as radius. So if you draw a circle, now this circle will automatically form the in circle of this triangle. So I hope this has provided you an understanding of what in circle is and how we draw the in circle of a triangle. Now, once you have understood what is in circle, what is in center, these three ID, IE or IF, these are called in radius. So, in circle 
circle touching all the three sides of the triangle in center the point of intersection of the angle bisectors and in radius the radius of this in circle is called in radius now after after having understood what is a in circle what is in center and what is in radius we need to know the formula for finding the radius of this in circle if we are given the three sides of this triangle so if you know the three sides of the triangle you can find the in radius suppose the sides of triangle are a comma b and c so if the sides of the triangle are a b and c then the semi perimeter that is the half of the perimeter of the triangle will be given by a plus b plus c this is the perimeter and we divide this by 2 so we get the semi perimeter so once you know the semi perimeter and the area of this triangle we can find out the in radius that is the radius of the in circle radius of in circle r is given by just divide the area of triangle by the semi perimeter of the triangle you get the value of the in radius a very very important concept for competitive exams the formula for finding the radius of in circle is the ratio of the area of the triangle to the semi perimeter of the triangle three very important concepts we have discussed in this video one is what is an in circle second the in center how we obtain the in center we draw the angle bisectors and the point of concurrence of the three angle bisectors will give you the in center third the distance of in center from any side that is the perpendicular distance this is called in radius and if you find the area of triangle and the semi perimeter of triangle then you can find this in radius that is the radius of the in circle using the formula area of triangle upon semi perimeter of triangle so in subsequent videos we shall try to understand what a circum circle or circum center is followed by many other geometrical concepts so keep watching the channel share and subscribe the videos if you like it